Vicente Yanez Pinzon was a Spanish navigator and explorer, the youngest of the Pinzon brothers. Along with his older brother, Martin Alonso Pinzon, who captained the Pinda, he sailed with Christopher Columbus on the first voyage to the New World, in 1492, as captain of the Niña. Pinzon was born in Palos de la Frontera on the Atlantic coast of Huelva, youngest of the three prominent sons of Simon Martin Pinzon and his wife Mayor Vicente. His birth year is uncertain, it is generally given as c. 1462, one Gill concludes from legal documents that his two daughters were over the age of 20 in 1509, that it certainly cannot be later than 1469. 1469 would be quite a late date, given that there is record of him being a corsair or privateer. In Mediterranean waters between 1477 and 1479 when other towns failed to provide Paulus with an adequate supply of grain in wartime. He married twice, first to Teresa Rodriguez, by whom he had two daughters, Ana Rodriguez Pinzon and Juana Gonzalez Pinzon, second, probably in 1509, to Ana de Trujillo, who some surviving documents refer to as Ana Nunez de Trujillo. It would appear that he was based in Palos at least up to and including the time of Columbus's first voyage, by 1495 he was living in nearby Maguire, after the economic failure of his 1499-1500 expedition. He appears to have moved no later than 1502 to Seville. He may have moved there to escape creditors. Historian Juan Gill, researching Pinzon's family life, found strong circumstantial evidence that his first wife left behind a mansion in Triana, across the river from Seville, her own property, not his, which passed into the hands of their daughters. The last primary record of him is in 1514, in Seville or Triana. According to the chronicler Gonzalo Fernandez de Oviedo y Valdez, he died that year, probably at the end of September. It is not known precisely where he is buried, though Oviedo expressed confidence that it was in the cemetery of Triana. Statue of the Pinzon Brothers in Palos de la Frontera. In 1499, Pinzon sailed to the South American coast. Pinzon eventually disembarked on the shore called Praia do Paraíso, in present-day Cabo de Santo Agostinho of the state of Parabucu, or further northwest, and what is today Fortaleza. According to the Treaty of Tordesillas between the Crown of Castile and Portugal, Castile could make no claim, but the place was named Cabo de Santa Maria de la Consolacion by Pinzon. He also sighted the Amazon River and ascended to a point about 50 miles from the sea. He called it the Rio Santa Maria de la Mar Dulce on account of the vastness of the freshwater river mouth, and he thus became the first European explorer to discover an estuary of the Amazon River. Pinzon is also considered the discoverer of the Oyapoque River. In 1505, Pinzon was named commander-in-chief and corregidor of the city of Puerto Rico, now called San Juan. This was to be the first step in the colonization of the island called Barincan by its inhabitants and San Juan Bautista by the Spanish. However, Pinzon did not fulfill this commission. In 1508, he traveled with Juan Diaz de Solis to South America. No record exists of Pinzon after 1514. In 1832, botanists Mart. and Zuc published Pinzona, a genus of flowering plants belonging to the family de Lineaceae and named in honor of Vicente Yanez Pinzon. On November 19, 1999, a statue of Pinzon and his brother was dedicated in Palos de la Frontera, Spain, on the occasion of the fifth centennial of the discovery of Brazil and of the brotherhood with the city, Cabo de Santo Agostinho, Brazil. Thanks for watching.